this was a question on how exactly do I do my screencast and I'm actually using the matrix here with um, FFmpeg and the X11 grab um, I kinda used two tutorial and then combine it and came up with my own kinda thing okay so the best of both I guess anyways uh, this is the code I'm using the one in bold in the middle here is exactly what I'm using uh, for the last four or five months I guess so if you like my videos how I came out uh, this is the exact code that I'm using okay but some of these you can change to your own liking it depends on your situation okay uh, so the first part here um, is the HW00 here uh, this is basically for your um, mic input so sometimes we'll say 00, zero, zero 01 or zero 02 just change it uh, depending on you or you can use pulse up here if you like you type in pulse and I'll use pulse audio okay uh, the other difference is what is this oh yeah right here your resolution this part some people type it in manually I don't like to do that okay um, what I like to use is this this code here which I got this from Marco Polo X basically what this will do is just grab it automatically so whatever resolution you're on doesn't really matter this thing will just grab it using the X win info so you have to have that installed also okay uh, and as far as the codex um, I'm using the one by uh, verb 3k's recommendation so I'm using that uh, you know how you don't have to use uh, MKV you can use uh, any container you want like AVI but I just use it like that and I'm gonna convert it anyway so it doesn't really matter to me so I left it like that and that's the code that I'm using However, um, you know, you don't want to type this out all the, all the time when you're about to record. So what I recommend is making an alias for your command. Uh, hopefully you know what a bash alias is. If you don't, you can watch a video on that. Uh, so this one is for full screen, okay? Assuming you want full screen. If you want a specific window, Marco Polo X actually has a script to do it. The only thing I have changed uh, in his... Uh, thing was um, the codex and that's about it okay because I didn't like his codec that he was using but his script was really nice so this is the script to uh, record uh, a single window so you activate this and there's a little uh, plus icon will come up and you choose the window that you want to record and it'll grab the you know the the resolution of that window or the application and it'll just record that portion so if you want a single window, this is the one you want to, to use, okay? This is the full screen. So that's that. And what else do you need to do? Oh, oh yeah, you need to have uh, FFmpeg unrestricted one. Not the crap from Ubuntu, okay? You probably have to use uh, the one from Mini Ubuntu's. That's one way to do it. Or you compile it yourself. I would actually recommend you compile yourself. If you're going to do this anyways, might as well compile yourself. Uh, it's not that hard because there's a script to do that automatically for you. Um, watch that video if you don't understand. And what else is there? Oh yeah, if you want to stop it, uh, since this runs from the terminal, you have to press Q to, to stop it, alright? Uh, what else is there? Oh yeah, um, I like this better than the, was it the GTK record my desktop. Mainly because when you stop it, the video is done. You don't. You're not encoding because it does it on the fly. Uh, there's on the fly for um, record my desktop, but that thing sucks. And the encoding after that takes forever, which I hate too. So that's why I like this. You know, when you when you click stop, it's done already. Okay. That assumes that you have a, a good enough computer to do this. I'm not sure how this affects it when you're using a low end computer, but for my computer, it's fine. So. Um, there you go and as far as for uh, converting to uh, for YouTube because you can't use like augs or um, MKV or something like that what you want to do is just to be safe use DVD and convert it you know to AVI or whatever and it'll come out fine in YouTube okay hopefully you know how to use DVD and if you want to trim it like um, you know the beginning parts where you have the terminal and you have to close the terminal at the end. You can always trim it with um, Avid Dimix. Just load it up, and you you know seek it to uh, whatever position, and you go start and end. 
and I'll just trim it. This one will not uh, encode it or re-encode it, it'll just cut it, okay? So hopefully you know how to do that, I'll have a video for that too. And I think that is it, okay? This is not for new users, so if you're comfortable with the terminal and all that, uh, I'll actually recommend doing it this way because it's, it's smooth, okay? And it's convenient too, when you're done with the recording, it's actually done. So that's what I've been using for the last four or five months. And if you like my videos, how it came out, this is exactly what I was using. All right, there you go. That's it.